All right, everybody, I am back with hopefully what is a quick watch me work Wednesday. I got into a situation here where I'm trying to delete some files and I wanted to try to talk it out while I do it. This might be very hard to verbalize, but uh, let's give it a go. So I have this video that was all basically After Effect clips kind of slides kind of like a PowerPoint video uh, it's explaining an issue about you know maybe maybe asking questions before you take a CAT scan but that's not either here nor there just think about how there's 20 different After Effects clips that made up this video and what happened was after we made the video and it was great and everything we decided to change the font so if I go over to my first monitor here what you see here is I had all these clips that I called in the second version and then I had all these clips that I made in After Effects and imported in what we call the third version. These are the ones with the proper fonts and the, and the proper clips, I should say. But we did it on such a deadline and we just rushed through it. I didn't really organize and make sure some of the clips I think were, were right and we left them in the second version. Maybe they, they didn't need a font, whatever it was. So I don't know which ones are in the second version and which ones in the third version are related to the final video and I want to know that because I want to delete the media that isn't so how would I do that okay that's what we're here to do so it's fairly simple but we're gonna go into the master sequence and you know what just for time's sake just because I haven't done it in a while and maybe I did already but I'm gonna duplicate it and put a copy in my stuff bin isn't that nice um, okay so with the master clip selected I'm gonna go to bin and I'm going to go to select media relatives. Great. Okay, so what that did, what it hi it highlighted every clip in all my different bins that is related to this sequence. So for my purposes here, I wanted to find out what was in the second version that really, in a sense, needs to go into the third version. I'm gonna call this the final version in a sense. And now, in a sense, I'm gonna do it again just to make sure but now all these clips in the second version, I should be able to see that they're not in my final sequence. So I'm going to go bin, select, media relatives, right. And there's none in here. So now I feel safe. I feel good. I'm going to delete these 26 master clips. Well, I'm not going to do... The, I already deleted the media uh, before I did this little video. But in theory, I'm going to delete the media not the clips i want to leave the clips here just in case who knows i want to batch import them or i made a mistake or whatever i never delete the clips and i'm going to close this bin and in theory i would even probably do something like this right put it old bins or z uh nah i wouldn't do z maybe i'd do old bins i because this has been i don't really need in this project anymore I might wind up changing this to see just a uh, third version, something like that. I might change this to final footage, something like that. But this was just a way to watch me work, how I organized uh, some footage here and deleted some media that I wasn't sure what the bins were. Hopefully this made uh, some sense and I will see you in the next video. Some people think Avid is really hard to learn, but that is not the case. And now there's an online course to prove it. Get all of the info and all of the details at avidbeer.com.